Equipments and tools required. 1. Steel spike with handle and screwdriver. 2. Turpentine stick to increase the friction. 3. Fuchi and Kashira. 4. Manuki. 5. Makidomi. 6. Suka Ito. Let's start. Divide the Ito into two equal parts and start placing it on the Suka shown in this video. Then fold the Ito down to 45 degree angle. Then continue to fold it another 45 degrees from the center. You will see that two angles have been formed with matching corner. Do the same thing, folding at 45 degrees and folding again. Caution, the rope should not be slack. We will see a beautiful diamond shape appear. Use a steel spike to organize things. Turn the suka to the side and apply turpentine on Ito to increase stiffness. Turn the suka to the other side and do the same. Turn to the side and do the same. This point is different from the first, where the right side is overridden by the left side. The left side is below. Here, the left side is at the top. We must have to intertwine the bottom and top continuously. Continue doing this and repeat. Oh, we forgot to tell you to band. The Manuki with elastic bands is the first thing. This is a point that you should be careful of and is difficult to do because you have to knit Ito on Manuki. Turpentine needs to be a pleat all the time so that the suka adheres tightly to the ito. Caution, don't forget to keep ito firmly all the times. Once you're sure the manuki is tight enough, cut off the elastic band. This is the final step tying the knot, omot. At this stage, there is complexity to be communicated in language. We recommend you follow this video clip together. It will help you successful to create omot.
I finished it. We hope this video is useful to all of you. Thank you for watching. Press ring the bell and press subscribe to encourage us to make further video as well. Thank you very much.